Today you're gonna to be trying friends cookies. As in like the I like Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip cookies. Uh, I like How I Met Your Mother cookies. Oh, oh, excuse me. Uh, if they're the show friends, there's gonna be like a Rachel cookie. A Joey. Monica's is gonna be the neatest cookie yeah. you will ever Vanilla. See. Vanilla and exactly three and a half chocolate chips per cookie. Chandler Bing flavor. You oh. eat them and you go, oh my god. There's a, I don't know. God, I've missed you. <laughs> <laughs> That is exactly what I thought they were gonna look like. It is friends. It is friends. It is friends. Oh, Chandler! Ah, oh, he's my favorite. <laughs> Are you serious? Are these actual friends cookies? Whoa! No, you can't clap like that. You gotta clap like this. <laughs> you gotta clap like that every time. Oh, I know these. They'll be there for you. I don't think at all. It's a very, very, very bad picture of Chandler if it's meant to be Chandler. It's like those pop finals. Would you have, would you have said Chandler's cookie was a salted caramel cookie? No, I would have said it was like plain. <laughs> really plain. Who's this video for? Are we, are we sending this video back in time to the <laughs> 90s? <laughs> oh! Mmm. It's a weird texture. It's barely a cookie. <laughs> it really is. What about if instead of making a cookie, we just use that money to license a random, <laughs> a random show. That is really nice. Like, I, I thought they might taste a bit like, you know when something's like named after a series or something and you're like, oh, it's just a novelty cookie, but that's actually like a nice biscuit. No, I like them. They go, um, they're, they're dunkable. Um, it sort of tastes like gluten-free cookies, you know, aren't as good as actual cookies, but won't kill you. Mm. And that's what this tastes like. Mm. Could I be any more lacking in flavor? Do you really like Chandler? I do like Chandler, yeah. He's mm -hmm. he's grand, yeah. Okay. He's a bit of a commitment phobe. Kind of like how you're behaving around this cookie, dare oh. I say. Oh, oh. oh. Mm. you did not just say that. Look at friends holding up a mirror to society once again. Like a normal cookie. Um, it's a little more sarcastic. Mm. It'll be funny until it finds happiness. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it won't be as funny anymore. There's no joy in this. Are these Joey cookies? Because I feel like they're double chocolate cookies, they might be Joey's. I think that- Joey came to mind straight away. Joey. I think maybe Monica? Right. I'm gonna go with Joey. Yay! Joey! Monica. Oh, orange cookies. Ah, oh, uh, god damn it, piece of shit. He's got a duck. <laughs> he has the duck. He does. Because Chandler had the chick. And they lived together in, in their apartment all those years. Mm. How do you feel about chocolate orange? A lot of people can um, go either I way. I chocolate. I really like orange. Oh yeah, sorry. She's, it's been two years, Lovely, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot. It's awful because they haven't used their actual pictures, so they don't have to pay them. Please give Matt LeBlanc money for this. What else is he doing? He's in all those Irish memes. Can we show that picture? Can we show that picture? <laughs> Can we show the picture of him looking like an Irish dad? Oh, yeah, do, do that, do you? You're doing videos <laughs> on the internet, do you? Well, fair play to you. I really like chocolate and orange together, so I'm going to enjoy this, I think. If this isn't the best one, I'm, I'm wrecking the joint. Okay. Mmm. I think that's really good. That's really nice. There's a lot of orange oil in it, which mm. is like a good flavor, but then... And the chocolate? Chocolate. <laughs> oh! Oh! That's nice. Just oh! Take... How you doing? Fuck on hell. People prefer Joey to Chandler. <laughs> Nothing's changed, I guess. Dermot won't share this. <laughs> this is good stuff. These remind me of Terry's chocolate cookies. The, yeah, Terry's um, chocolate orange. It's a brand, it's a brand. TV show. Not a person. I never saw Terry and Friends. <laughs> um, sorry, one interesting point to note. It's orange marmalade as opposed to orange, which it really oh. does taste like. If it had just been a plain chocolate cookie, that would be more like Joey. Yeah, I don't know why they're making a fancy for yeah. Joey. I don't get the orange thing. I don't, I don't think Joey has ever eaten an orange. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he what could identify it. it. Yeah. He'd just like, like <laughs> throw it, they'll throw it across the room for hours and hours. <laughs> Has to be some sort of world record. Way better than Chandler's salted cookie. This could have a spin off. <laughs> uh, how do these compare to the Chandler's salted caramel? This apparently. Or. <laughs> um. <gasps> <laughs> I 
I think orange might be a little bit more because it's sweet biscuits with dark chocolate chips. I think it might be Phoebe. I'm gonna go with Rachel. Misled to lose. You think that's it? Yeah. Yeah, good show. I think it's gonna be Phoebe. Good show. I think these are gonna be Ross's because Ross is a bit of a control freak and he has to have the perfect chocolate chip cookies. Ah, ah both wrong. Both wrong. Yeah. It's Monica's chocolate chip cookies. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Monica, of course it's Monica. She's the one who likes things perfect. Yeah. So these are your standard dark chocolate chip cookies. Dark chocolate chip cookies. Which I love. These, should be, these shouldn't be chocolate chip cookies. They should be mocklet chip cookies. Mm. Mocklet. Mocklet. Let's do it. Okay. These are, uh, yep, they're cookies. Mike, what do you want? You wanted like a gooey, proper chocolate chip cookie. That's just like a bit like a brick mm. with chips in it. Mm. Mm. Nicer than Chandler ones, but not as good as the Joey ones. Yeah, I feel like this is a, a BuzzFeed test in food form. Like, you wouldn't be disappointed if someone brought them out, but it wouldn't be a special occasion. I'm gonna stick up for Monica a little bit here. I think that that's the best one so far. Can I say, I'm really impressed that you went to the effort of getting the tea to do the dunk factor. Mm -hmm. And I hope people at home appreciate that. <laughs> That's what you, you wouldn't have known that if you hadn't dunked. Good job. I'm going dry, you're going wet. The two of us together, we're given the full spectrum of taste. Okay. Chandler's always going to be my favorite, and I'm sorry, but. Is it like, just because you love Chandler the character? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I really like that salted caramel, but I wouldn't marry those flavors together. Another reference there for anyone listening, keeping track. Ooh, Phoebe. Ooh. Lemon cookies with white chocolate chips. Lemon cookies with white chocolate chips. Everyone on Instagram is exactly like me. <laughs> That's true. Was... Yeah, she was the prototype. Do you know what? I'm going to say these are definitely not Phoebe's. And here's why. Because mm. she famously, in the famous show Friends, the Friends, made oatmeal raisin cookies. <laughs> and they're Phoebe's, so they're obviously taking the whole show's logic and threw it out the window. You got it. Is it Phoebe? <gasps> with white chocolate chips. And she's got a guitar. Amazing. You would not be allowed to have these cookies with the Chandler cookies because they were very, very rarely ever paired together. Mm. There's a lemon flavor. Mm. I do agree, the texture of it is much better. Yeah. I don't think either of us appreciate when it like just cr crumbles apart like in the crunch. Interesting that Phoebe, Phoebe's ones are the it's most subtle. subtle. Yeah. That's kind of odd, isn't it? I feel like she does, oh, oh my God, ah! You know, it just, she kind of slaps you, no, no, no! Like a cast in a TV show, an ensemble cast, mm -hmm. they complement each other. By themselves, you would never get these and you would never get Chandler. Oh. That's it, yeah. Just having them by themselves, you go, it's a little unrealistic. <laughs> I'm sorry, you make money from singing in a <laughs> bar, but you also can, don't make money, but your apartment is huge? This is, this is weird. So it's either what, Ross or Rachel? Ross or Rachel? Will they, won't they? Will they, won't they? Who will it be? Well, hello. Oh. How's it going? How you know? This is Rachel. Rachel, Green. it has to be Rachel. Yeah. Over. Has to be Rachel. This is gonna be uh, Rachel. Rachel has to be. Has to be Rachel. Red velvet. Yeah, absolutely. If these aren't Rachel Greens, I'm sorry. Well, White chocolate. And... Red velvet. <gasps> you love oh. oh. Our two favorite things: oh. white chocolate and red velvet. That's our nicknames. <laughs> Oh, hey there, Red Velvet. It's Rachel. Yay! That's weird, because these cookies show more personality than she ever showed in that show, right? Right? Red Velvet cookies with white chocolate chips. We'll get them. And then you go, oh, oh, oh. Um, Ross, oh, 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 oh. And cookie, like, you want a cookie? Oh, oh, oh. Where did that come from? That's really good. Straight from a wedding. <laughs> oh, I did. Oh, I love Red Velvet. You do love Red Velvet. Oh, I love Red Velvet. <laughs> Guy downstairs. They're having sex up there. I can hear it. <laughs> They're only doing it in five second bursts. <laughs> That's all you need. Oh, very crunchy. Oh, yeah. They are also on a break. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Surprisingly. <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. they're very dry. <laughs> very dry. Very dry. I think they're grand. No, they taste like pure sugar. You sound like such an Irish mammy right now. <laughs> Tom, they'll rot the teeth inside your head. I mean, honest to gosh. 
I'd be one paying for the dentist. That's uh, it's the white chocolate that makes that one yeah. kick. That's it's amazing. Rich and caramelly. Mmm. Oh, that's so fucking good. Mm. Holy shit. Ooh, fell apart pretty well. Oh, wow. Yeah. Just like Rachel. <laughs> I love my husband at the altar. Well, you're never going to do better than Barry. Well, this is the thing. Oh, Rachel, I can see Rachel Green as being a woman who wouldn't eat a lot of cookies. So maybe this is the mm. perfect cookie to a woman who doesn't eat a lot of cookies. This is this is spectacular. This is actually, this is maybe the most impressive. Mm. Like, the, uh, like Very like, rich, though. Oh, very. Like, you put, like Phoebe's ones again. You need Phoebe's entire box. Oh god! As soon as I started saying oh. it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are these just plain? Oh no, poor Ross. Oh, wow! These could not be more plain. Yeah. Kind of featureless. These do seem very plain because all the other ones were like two things together, whereas yeah. this is just shortbread. I don't. Yeah, Ross is just. I think the, the reevaluation of Ross lately is is bullshit. He was a really funny character because he was intentionally an asshole quite a lot. That's the point of the character. He was a, he was a bit of a dick. You can still like him and find him funny. Plus the fact that uh, uh, Schwimmer, arguably the best actor on the show. So funny. He's really really good. So funny. Oh, that's like cardboard. Yeah, that there's literally nothing. There's to nothing it. to it. Like it's. Oh God. It's very dry. Oh yeah, I'm certainly not David swimming in <laughs> in flavor. I'm so sorry, even I couldn't get through that. Oh. Very bland. There is the faintest hint of a whisper of someone saying the word butter from across <laughs> the room. That's all you get from Ross's cookie. Is Ross's cookie the worst one? Yes. And here's the thing, I always thought I'd enjoy Ross's cookie. Yeah. I thought I'd go to town on Ross's cookie. <laughs> They really just went, nah, whatever. Who's going to buy the Ross cookies? Clearly, Ross was going to have lovely cookies, and they went, we've Googled. We found out people think <laughs> Ross is a gas liner. Make the cookies bland. Make the cookies bland. <laughs> this makes me want to fly to London and spontaneously propose to someone, only to be rejected for saying the wrong name at the altar. This cookie is equivalent to the shame of him in the leather pants when he just has cream on his forehead and everywhere, and he has to come out and go, oh, no. <laughs> like that. This is what this cookie is equivalent to. I feel like you put these in your mouth and you're like, oh, the cookies and the tea have just formed into a paste. <laughs> Friends reference. <laughs> I look at this and I just see another cheap marketing ploy years later after a show from the early 2000s. It's like done, it's finished. Now, we've had six varieties of Friends cookies. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Thank you for doing it in four, by the way. If any, if any fucker does it in five, I'll slap them in the face. Any message to fans of Friends? Uh, Are lads, there any left? <laughs> it's been over. It's been over for literally 18 years this year. 18 years, yeah, yeah it's nearly 20 years. Uh, it started 28 years ago, so it, find something new, you know. Yeah. It'll always be there. You can still enjoy it. You can still watch it. But Jesus, get a new identity. Hi, Rachel. Oh, oh Ross. Oh, um, Ross. Hi. Um, I was just uh, wondering if uh, you would. Um, you can like and subscribe. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh. Yeah, just click the button. Uh, Would you like to see my bone? <laughs> <laughs>